In this video, we're going to be talking about shared libraries in Google Ads. Shared libraries allow advertisers to share features and settings across campaigns. They are accessed from the Tools menu at the top of the screen. So if we click Tools and Settings, we see the shared library options here. I'm now going to go through a few of the most important options. Portfolio bid strategies are accessed from Tools and Settings, Shared Libraries, and then Bid Strategies. Bid strategies are used by Google to determine how much it automatically bids for placements. Bid strategies are assigned at the campaign level. A single bid strategy can be used across multiple campaigns. Here, for example, is a target ROAS or return on advertising spend bid strategy. This strategy is set at 500% and I've named it 500%. That is, Google aims to ensure that sales are five times the advertising spend. If we click on this portfolio strategy, we, will, we can see the performance of that portfolio strategy across all the campaigns to which it's been set. And there's a little graph here, and it's got the target ROAS, which is set down here under settings. We've given it the name 500%, and the target ROAS is 500%. And we can see how that target ROAS has changed over time and what the actual ROAS is. So we can see that the actual ROAS has actually, over, uh, the actual ROAS has actually outperformed what it was set at, which is 500%. At the moment, down at the bottom here, we can add or move campaigns. We can add this to campaigns. We can either do this at the campaign level or we can do it here at the portfolio strategy level. If we go into a, this is a shopping campaign here, which has been creating a new campaign. And down here under bidding and budgets, we can set and you can set the bid strategy, what are the various different bid strategies here. And here we can use an existing portfolio bid strategy and that's the 500% one, which we've just seen. Google enables advertisers to target groups of website visitors, which it calls audiences. These can either be system generated or advertisers can specify their own. These audiences can then be used across multiple campaigns. So audiences, the audiences are managed under shared library and then audience manager, and it gives us a list of the audiences. So these are the other audiences which Google has automatically created from the data it has imported from your website and also from Google Analytics, or users can specify their own. So here we have a list, one which we've created ourselves called Shopify Customers to 1st of December. And what we were doing with this, it was for the purpose of uh, Performance Max. We were taking our customer data and uploading it into Google Ads every month. So if we click on this, if we want to add customers to the list, we can do this here by clicking Edit List. If we click edit list, then we have the options to add more data. Down here are some details about the audience. Here it's got segment members. That's telling us that we uploaded the, the this information was uploaded into the system. Then match rate. This means that 76% of users that were up, uploaded into this segment, Google could match for targeting purposes. And down here we have some information about the segment. It gives us the, some information on demographic and also the information on where the people are from and the kind of devices they're using. As an example of where this audience list is used, if we go into one of these Performance Max campaigns, and then we go into Asset Groups, if we go into the Audience Signal and we edit the Audience Signal, one of the audience here, one of the options here will be Shopify customers first December. So we've added this shared audience into this campaign to help Google, to add signals to help Google with its targeting, so it can help find us better customers for our adverts. Negative keywords prevent ads from appearing for specific searches. If you have similar campaigns, then you can save time by creating a keyword list which shares negative keywords across campaigns. This again is accessed from tools and settings, audience uh, shared library, and then negative keyword lists. So for example here, I've got a campaign called Brands We Don't Sell. We were finding we were appearing for campaigns for, for brands that um, we didn't sell, which similar to things we sold, but not the actual thing. So what we did is created a, a list of these, which were shared across multiple campaigns, list of brands here. Now, if we go into a campaign, if we go into a campaign and then we go to keywords and then negative keywords, you have the option here of adding keywords and you can either use a negative keyword list and you can add the keyword list or you could add just negative keywords. So if you had negative keywords you want to use across multiple campaigns, it, it's, it, it save you time to add them to a list and then apply those to multiple campaigns. Ad spend can be controlled at the campaign level. Here we have a list of campaigns and it's got the daily budget. And that means that for this campaign, Google will not spend, will spend an average of hundred pounds a day across a 30 day period. Now, if you have lots of different campaigns, 
they each have a daily budget. Now you may not want to spend the addition of all those different campaigns. So what you can do is you can create a shared budget. We've got a shared budget here. You can combine these campaigns together, which means that the total budget is actually shared across the campaign. So each of these campaigns I've selected has a daily budget of five pounds, but together you won't spend more than 15 pounds a day averaged across a 30 day period. And that means you won't um, overspend.